Welcome to the Carbonite Jedi, where the Force will be with you always. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a product review. I bought this. I bought these 6.70 piece action figure display holder base, compatible with 6 inch Star Wars Black Series figure toys. As you know, my cabinet's getting kind of uh, disorganized, so I thought I'd buy them. So I went and I ordered them, and they came in, and I wanted to show y'all what was all involved with setting them up. Doesn't look too hard, but we'll see. All right, as you can see, it's getting pretty crowded in there and pretty jumbled. I think what I'll do is I'll start with the bottom section and pull these guys out and see if I can't get them set up on these bases. As you can see, I put the holder base underneath the Black Series action figures and they're a lot more stable. Every time I was opening up my uh, Curie cabinet, um, it would vibrate a little bit and knock some of them down. This isn't to say that they're the most stable thing ever, but this makes them uh, tons more stable. I mean, if you knock them and they're not like <laughs> balanced really well, they will uh, fall over. So I think <clears throat> with the Black Series action figures, they didn't always put the hole in the heel of the person. Some of them had holes at the front by their, you know, their toes and that made it kind of difficult so you had to like move the base to the opposite side like him. Well you can't really see but uh, let's see now the Mandalorian. He had holes in the front so if you see I had to like turn him around compared to this guy forelong where he's standing toward the back so I mean they're they're both stable and as long as you have them situated where they're really balanced where they'd stand by themselves it makes it a lot more stable so the Jawa was super hard he was probably the hardest one to get on those bases uh, I don't know if his the hole in his feet were smaller or if he was just trying to stretch his legs out plus his cape was all plastic and every time I try to push it down the, the cape would get in the way and that was really irritating uh, same with uh, Jabba's right hand man um, so yeah it was hopefully it looks good let me go put them in there and we can see what it looks like Okay, so I got them all in there, um, and they look okay. The uh, guys with the long rifles are kind of hard to set up and get situated because they're, you know, if you try to put anybody beside them, you gotta like angle the weapons differently. And uh, I tried to put all the small guys in front. I wasn't able to get Zarkus up front. Um, maybe I'll do a little more rearranging after this video. But yeah, it looks a lot, I think it looks a lot cleaner. They're more orderly, and it'll be interesting to see when I get to the dark side and then the light side. But that's it, that's the, uh, that's what I bought for my action figures. What do I rate this product? I would rate it a, probably a seven. At the most, seven at the most. I wouldn't rate it perfect. I had a lot of trouble getting the get getting all the guys on their clips or the tabs. Um, I think that the tabs could have been a little bit smaller. They did send me something in there. It's a clear plastic one. It said a gift for you as a thank you from Figure Labs, which nice. Maybe I'll give them a seven and a half, eight. But I mean, it was 70 pieces for $32.99 and it should last me a while. It's just, 
it's not as easy as I thought it was going to be. So that's probably why I get it, didn't give it higher. It wasn't as easy. But it's stable once you get it on there. And I'm kind of disappointed in the Black Series uh, toy maker for putting the holes in different places of their feet, you know, per action figure. Some go in the heel, some go in the front. And it's, you know, it should standardize, make it easier. Am I happy with it? Yeah, I'm, I'm okay with it. Like I said, it's, it's not perfect, but it'll, it'll do. And I can, I have plenty of leftover pieces where I can do the rest of my action figures and, and get them all set up. So the next time we, I do a video, I'll, I'll show you what it looks like. Um, if you haven't seen any of my other videos, uh, I've done an interview with Roger Christian, which he was the um, art director for Star Wars, won an Academy Award for it. You should go check it out. I've done some shorts and some long videos. And uh, go to the community tab to see what is going on with my channel. So come back for more sci-fi and Star Wars content and interviews and Black Series unboxings, which I should be doing soon. I'm getting new equipment. My, my headphones broke for some reason. I wonder if it was my children or my cat. Interesting. But I'm getting new equipment, a new microphone, and new headphones, so I should be doing the Star Wars Black Series unboxing. And I got a special one that I'm going to unbox. I haven't, I didn't do a uh, poll on that. But I'll probably do the one I did the poll on earlier. Uh, and we will do the mystery unboxing on that one. That was a long way to say. Come back for more sci-fi, Star Wars content, Black Box unbox, uh, <laughs> Black Series unboxing. Woo! Black Series unboxing and uh, live watch movies. I want to do some live watch movies. I'll be putting up a poll to see what everybody might want to watch. Keep your peepers open and you'll see what's going on on the channel. All right, well, have a wonderful weekend and may the force be with you always.